What's up everybody? Kevin here for Scuffleberg Outdoors and in this video we are making a Traxxas TRX-6 off-road recovery vehicle for MJ with Wrecker RC. Stay tuned. So a little while back, a buddy of mine, MJ with Wrecker RC, I'll put a link in the description for his video, original video. Anyhow, he had a concept of making the TRX-6 into a wrecker. Um, and I reached out to him, asked him a few questions, everything. Uh, mocked one up on my TRX-6. I'll make a video for that. But this is for him. And I, what I've done is come up with a, a bunch of, a, making it out of aluminum, putting a flatbed on a TRX-6. Uh, his TRX-6, I uh, don't remember what body was on it. He didn't bring it. But anyhow, where's that? Oh, my baby chair. We got us a Chevrolet something body. I don't know. Not a Chevrolet guy. Anyhow, cab only. So what I've done is I took the, I made a forward battery mount for him. Um, like we do on all of our Traxxas vehicles and some others. I made a center electronics tray to get rid of these two uh, like slider tray things. Put everything down the middle, balances the truck a whole lot better. So to mount this cab, I used their stock forward mounts, body mounts, and on the back I used the Blazer, just the tall mount, and I made some modifications to the electronics tray where this will sit right just like so um when i got the vehicle from him it was uh seasoned to say the least um but unfortunately the frame rails were bent so he got me some new frame rails and i put them on there we uh put some aluminum shock towers because you have to kind of have those to make this work and all the i've done cut out all the aluminum pieces for the, the bed mounts, the boom arm, the uh, linkage for the boom arm, because it will raise and lower via servo. It'll have a servo winch, um, uh, aluminum rear bumper, headache rack, and the whole nine yards. So let me get this thing uh, my, or put together, and I will give y'all some nice B-roll. And when he comes and picks it up, I will film it so we can see his reaction to it so if he likes it i'm sure he will it's a uh, it's a lot of work but it's going to be super cool all right we'll see you in a little while <laughs> all right so i did not film the mock-up part so i mocked it all up the trx6 off-road recovery vehicle mocked it all up <clears throat> took it all back apart did some filing, some sanding on everything. So I don't do not know if MJ is going to paint it or not. Um, so anyhow, I'm gonna put it all back together. Get y'all some nice B-roll. Show you everything I've done to it, and we'll wrap this video up. Hopefully, he comes by and picks it up, and I can film it. So see y'all in a little bit. Well, uh, this is going to conclude the build. Uh, the bed is all back together. Um, got everything mounted up with stainless steel hardware. Battery mount on the front. Center electronics tray in the mid there. Mounted up this Chevrolet body for him. Um, do not have a transmitter <clears throat> or anything like that from him so I can do any demonstrations. But I'm sure he's going to have plenty on his channel. I can't even wind the servo winch in. <laughs> so, uh, but I just got confirmation. He is on the way to pick this thing up. So we will get it uh, unveiled for him. And I hope he likes it. So we'll catch you all on the unveiling. And see how it goes. Thank y'all. As I said in the clip before, I just got a text message. This is MJ, Wrecker RC. This is his truck. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Dude, that's gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, 
I sanded everything. I filed all the edges and Man, everything. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know whether you were going to paint it or. I, 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 or it just don't exist right now. That's gorgeous, dude. That's that's. I really think you could. That's <laughs> my dad. <laughs> Stay tuned. No, right? Stay tuned. I'll call it back. I feel like you could probably trim this because it sits a little lower than yeah. the frame rail, but I wanted to leave you. I wanted to leave you, you know. Yeah. Where you wanted to take it. Because, uh, yeah. I have, I did cut this out hard, but I have the body as low as it'll go. It will raise up. Okay. There's plenty of room for adjustments as far That's, as the body. And you even did your, 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 at this point, it's kind of like a, a, a you patented battery <laughs> placement right here. No, your battery goes. The battery's up there. Yeah. Okay. There's the battery tray. Use your strap up there. Okay. Um, I, everything is stamp labeled, so if you did take it apart to paint it, like there's stamped L's and R's up left, on all right. these pieces. Every piece is stamped left and right. Um, although you. You might want to take a bunch of pictures if you did take it apart to paint it. Yeah. This is adjustable. Okay. I mean, all you got to do that screws I, right out. That'll slide wise. up and down. This is this is all the way down. Okay. So everything matches if you needed to raise the body up a little bit. Okay. I did have to turn these opposite, which it'll almost be vertical. I have mine leaned forward. But anyway, the shock could be a set a little bit more progressive. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one more vertical and then this one leaning forward a lot more to finish up here. That's how my Versus, mind is. Because there's going to be some more uh, <laughs> spring tension here in this world. Yeah. We're going to have I'm going to put it in some sketchy situations. And, yeah. This, oh, that's works. beautiful. You've got to set your end points. i got to access hole so you can, okay. you know, remove it, whatever. That's wise, man. <clears throat> yeah, um, and that that this right here just adds a little bit, right there. The so yeah, it rolls. I, it rolls. You got it's a on a bearing. Yes. Which you know, right there, it's just natural. Yeah. Got the, <laughs> the bumper working. Oh man, that's beautiful. Headache huh? rack. The ESC will fit right in here. The okay. receiver fits back here. Keeps everything up away. Yeah. Can wire management 101. Yeah, you said you were going to do away for the locking diff, so I didn't put yeah. the this servo mount back in. No, here. yeah, yeah, the, I'm, I'm going to lock the diffs. But yeah, I mean, you got a lot of wiring to do, painting. I was able to keep your bumper and still set the body low. Okay. I just did a hole punch in there, then snipped it out so it sits on there. It's kind of recessed exactly where it's That's supposed perfect, to be. That's perfect, dude. I'm so, I'm so stoked. I didn't want to... I didn't want to trim all the way up to the grill because the parking lights would have went away. Okay. The stickers for parking lights. That makes lights. sense. So I recessed it up in there because it's turned. If you had it turned up, and I wanted it turned up because it gives you better approach angle. But I wanted to keep your bumper. Okay. Oh man, I'm stoked to you. Oh my god, this thing looks glorious. This is gorgeous, dude. Yeah, if Endo Works ever comes back online, you can get you some high clearance links for it. Right. I look like every week, and yeah. it's still like, yeah, because I'm dying to put my uh, discount code in there to see if see if it still works. Yes, <laughs> I want to know too. Yeah, man, this is gonna be sweet. I'm I, I am beyond words uh, in in gratitude and appreciation. It's all good. It's your idea, I did, your idea turned into my wheels. You, you do realize people are probably going to want to contact you on this one, right? I have a website. Or uh, not a website. I have an email okay. if that's possible. Anybody you know, just give them my phone number. But I'm yeah. not going to put that on the internet. So. Right. I wouldn't put that on the internet either. <laughs> Expect to see this truck at the G6 and Recon G6. This thing will be used. I promise you. We're going to do some scale recoveries. We're going to do some scale shenanigans. Yeah. Because, yeah, cool. yeah. This is getting in a, entered in a show and shine. There ain't no... No buts about that. What color are you going to paint it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think the Chevy blue. Like that, that deep. It's almost like that Traxxas blue. You know which one I'm talking about from the 80s? Like that one? Yeah. Maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah. Because I paint. I did my... Uh, this is the... This used to be the base camp. 
And okay. I, I, I changed it all up because that body was huge. Yeah, it is. And I didn't like it. Oh, they haven't seen this yet. The revamp. But it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, it does turn out really cool. That's it's a beautiful super color. wide. Yeah, I'm stoked, dude. I am, I am beyond, the gratitude I have for you is beyond. I can't even say it. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> It's gorgeous, man. Completely handmade. Yeah. No in-house machine shop. Right. Every piece was cut with a hacksaw and filed and sanded. And I can't wait to show people. Finish this thing up and, and show people. I'm really excited. That's going to be so great. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Yep. You're welcome. Oh. It was fun. Took a little longer than I expected. Sorry. Work. Was don't been crazy. As I told you earlier, man, don't mess with artists. You got you have your own timeline, and you just accept that timeline. And yes, <laughs> there's there's nothing else. You just it is. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Artists have their ways. Never rush an artist because then then malicious compliance comes into play. <laughs> I've seen it with my own students. It's kind of funny to be honest with you. I'm, yeah. I'm beyond for it, man. Well, I appreciate it. Wow. You just you just feel the amount of time that, that this took and the amount of love. Yeah. There's there's so much love in this truck, man. Hell yeah. I hope I hope the community understands and they can feel it too. Four S or bust, baby. Four S or bust. <laughs> well, Thank y'all for watching. Yeah. Thank MJ for the idea. Of course, right oh, there, that's on. when it goes to charge. <laughs> oh man, my battery died. It's still the camera's still working. It's all good. That's game. That's crazy. All hey. right, deuces. Hey, thank you guys. I appreciate. <laughs> hope you enjoy the build process. Even if it's just this camera. More importantly, I don't know what the hell? Okay. More importantly, I hope this inspires someone else to do. Some crazy shenanigans that are super unique. I'm stoked, man. I am beyond. I'm floored beyond words. Yep. <sighs> See y'all. See ya.